In this video, we present our work, Dip Vectorization of Technical Drawings. Vector representations are often used for technical images, such as architectural and construction plans and engineering drawings. Compared to raster images, vector representations have a number of advantages. They are scale-independent, much more compact, and most importantly, support easy primitive-level editing. However, in many cases, technical drawings are available only in raster form. Conversion of raster technical drawings to vector representation has several challenging requirements. The vector representation has to accurately approximate important parts of the image, such as straight lines or distinct angles. It must not contain the artifacts of the input image, such as imaging noise or missing parts of the lines. The number of primitives in the vector representation has to be minimal, resulting in a compact and easily editable representation. The first and last requirements are conflicting, since reducing the number of primitives ultimately leads to the reduction of the level of detail. As for the second requirement, it is often unclear how to formalize what is an artifact. The prior work on vectorization of line drawings is concentrated around hand-drawn sketches, so the priority is given to the reproduction of the topology and not the accurate reproduction of separate lines. Although some methods allow to increase the fidelity of the result while sacrificing its compactness, the parameters responsible for this trade-off have to be tuned manually for each individual input. We present our method for vectorization of technical line drawings. It is designed to produce geometrically accurate and compact reconstructions in a fully automatic way. We address the aforementioned requirements of vectorization of technical drawings in four steps. First, we pre-process the input image, removing the noise, adjusting the contrast and filling in missing parts. To avoid ambiguities related to the formalization of this step, we employ the data-driven approach. Then, we split the image into small patches, and for each patch, estimate the vector primitives. Here again, we use the data-driven approach to get the accurate vectorization with the optimal number of primitives automatically. After that, to maximize the accuracy of vectorization, we further refine the primitives, aligning them to the input raster. Finally, we merge the primitives from all patches into a single image. Let's start with primitive estimation. To this end, we design the primitive extraction network. We extract convolutional features from the input image with the ResNet-based feature extractor and then use a transformer-based neural network to estimate the position of the control points of the vector primitives and their widths. In this work, we consider two types of primitives, either line segments or quadratic Bezier curves. Instead of passing the whole image into the primitive extraction network, we split it into small patches and vectorize each patch independently. This division increases efficiency as the patches are processed in parallel and robustness of the trained model as it learns on simple structures. We fix the maximum number of primitives per patch and along with the parameters of the primitive estimate its confidence, which indicates whether the primitive should be kept or discarded. The use of a trainable neural network allows us to automatically get the optimal vector representation in each individual case and the use of the transformer architecture, with its attention specifically, allows us to leverage the sparsity of line drawings. To train our primitive extraction network, we collected two datasets of clean technical line drawings with precisely known vector ground truth. To demonstrate the performance of our method with the line segments, we compiled the dataset of 1500 large-scale real-world architectural floor plans from a commercial website. To demonstrate the performance with curves, we prepared the dataset of 10,000 mechanical drawings using parametric CAD models from the ABC dataset. Application of the primitive extraction network alone to the real-world corrupted raster input would require the corresponding training dataset with pairs of real-world corrupted raster images and accurate vector reconstructions. Collection of such dataset is extremely difficult, so instead we employ the pre-processing step designed to remove the artifacts from the input image and make it similar to the clean images on which we train the primitive extraction network. To this end, we use a fully convolutional UNet-like neural network that we train on 20,000 synthetic image pairs and fine-tune on 66 real-world photos and scans on floor plans with manually clean targets. The use of data-driven approach allows us to avoid the difficulties related to formal distinction between signal and noise in this task. 
While training the primitive extraction network, we face the fact that its average train error reaches the limit of a couple of pixels. A typical output is slightly shifted with respect to the input raster, and some outputs have large error. To solve this problem, we decided to additionally refine the primitives estimated with the network. We noticed that evolution of the primitives in the process of their alignment to the raster could be similar to the evolution of the system of electrostatic charges, in which the positive charge is spread inside the primitives and the negative charge is fixed in the shaded pixels of the raster. The positive charge is attracted by the closed negative, so the positive primitives align to the negative raster to cancel excessive negative charge. In that spirit, we refine the primitives via iterative optimization of the functional which models the energy of such charge interactions. In the paper, we explain how this step fixes various artifacts, such as incorrect placement of the primitives, incorrect size, or overlapping primitives. Let's look at the vectorization result after different steps of our algorithm on this clean example. We measured the quality of the results using intersection over union, the largest and average distance between the skeletons of the result and the ground truth, and the number of primitives. So the network estimates the positioning and the size of the primitives. The refinement step aligns the primitives to the input raster, improving the accuracy of the result, and the final merging step reduces the number of primitives with a slight loss in accuracy. Here we show the results on a clean floor plan input. Notice how the prior work suffers from oversimplification, smoothing of sharp angles, and overparameterization. In contrast, our method produces accurate and compact results. On floor plans with predominantly straight lines and sharp angles, our full method outperforms the prior work by a significant margin. Here we show the results on a mechanical drawing. On mechanical drawings with smooth curves, our method outperforms the methods of Favreau et al. and Donati et al. Our method without the final merging step also outperforms the method of Besmeltsev and Solomon, while still producing significantly less primitives. Furthermore, our method correctly estimates the width of the lines, while the prior work only produces the skeleton structure. Here we compare our full pipeline to the method of Donati et al. on real-world noise inputs. Our method produces significantly more accurate results. To sum up, we have presented a method for vectorization of technical drawings. It is based on the primitive extraction network, which estimates the position and the size of vector primitives for a raster input. The raw raster input of the network is pre-processed with another cleaning neural network, and the predictions are further aligned with the raster with iterative optimization. Our method is fully automatic and produces accurate and compact reconstructions of clean floor plans and mechanical drawings, as well as real-world noisy floor plans. We will publish the code soon. Thanks for watching.